All right, folks, me and Teddy are down here for our last hurrah on the Pine Barrens before I need to quarantine and go back to school. It is late August right now. Uh, I'm constantly backlogged these days, so uh, I don't know when you're gonna be seeing this, but uh, besides the point, um, we're gonna go see if we can flip some snakes. And then we're gonna cruise tonight, and uh, we have quite a bit we're trying to do here. All right, now this stuff is pretty essential in the pines. At least this time of year, it's seed dick season. All right, we spent a little too long flipping and uh, we're missing prime time right now. So we're gonna hit the road and uh, see if any snakes are moving. So let's do that. All right, well, uh, not much was on the roads tonight. It got pretty chilly pretty quick, but the weather looks really good tomorrow for uh, day cruising on the sand roads and flipping and things like that and uh, then we'll stay out and road cruise again at night. Hopefully we get something. We got the, uh, the tent right here, so uh, I'll update you guys in the morning. All right, well, we uh, just packed up. We woke up this morning and uh, conditions seem pretty prime. You can see the sky, it's overcast. There's like a 50% chance of thunderstorms all day. It's pretty cool right now, so uh, we're gonna get flipping pretty soon, and then once it warms up, we're just gonna cruise the sand roads, cause uh, yeah, snake should be out and about in these temps. My God, we just rolled up to the site. Here's the car. We just realized there's nails everywhere, everywhere. Oh my God. I look. How are we gonna not get one in the tire? Look, they're everywhere. Literally, well, we drove over them on the way in, but. Oh my god. You They're everywhere. Gone. There's a nail. They're like, everywhere. Down. There's no way like this didn't get us. Look at them. They're everywhere. What the hell did we do? Holy. We're done. How did this happen? How are there it's so like many? someone did this on purpose. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. I feel like this what can't. The? This can't be an accident. <laughs> I know. They're literally spread out in like a 40 foot radius. All right. All right, let's see what we can do here. Nothing. First snake of the day. Broke the ice. Oh, oh, come on, come back here. All right, broke the ice with this little worm snake. Cool. Go on the grass there. Just rock back and uh, keep flipping. Oh man. One of these days. Alright, uh, nothing so far. We're gonna keep flipping and uh, cruise on the way to the next spot and hopefully we get lucky and something crosses or uh, something will be undercover. We'll see. We miraculously made it through those nails without any spontaneous explosion of our tires, but only time will tell if one of those is embedded in our tire. So uh, thank you to the kind soul that decided to dump like four boxes of nails all over that dead end. That was just wonderful of them to do. Um, but anyway, uh, let's see if we can find something. All right, so when we talk about seed ticks, this is what we're talking about. Sound like a nature count. 
outside right now. He's mad because I'm filming this and not letting me use this yet, but check this out. Flint roller, that's why we're doing this. Imagine this, this is, I just saved myself from like 30 or 50 ticks, at least. Maybe 100, who knows. Anyway, Teddy's gonna roll. We were just going through this pile, and we found a nice little coastal. This guy's in shed, unfortunately, but oh, it's bitey. But, um, not bad. Not a bad coastal at all. Very nice. Damn, shame this thing is in shed, it's nice. Man, this would be a nice snake out of shed. I can tell you that. This guy go on his way. There he goes. We're gonna keep looking. It's not recent at all, but under this board I just flipped. See there, and then here in my hand, you have some timber rattlesnake shed pieces. Getting closer. Getting closer. We're hoping to cruise a timber today, so we'll see what happens. It's nice and overcast still. You can see the sky looking good. Hopefully, we get lucky. So goddamn finally cruised something. Just cruised a nice Pine Barrens timber, very pretty. Just like the last time I found one of these, some other people were kind enough to stop for it and uh, they even were concerned about me flying up so fast and wanted me to slow down and stop, which is awesome. I love to see that. I love to see non-snake enthusiasts. Also a guy wearing a Trump cutoff stopping for snakes. I mean. Uh, based off the way the stereotype goes, that's typically not, I guess, what you'd see. But, uh, awesome to see people stopping for snakes, and, uh, yeah. Beautiful. You know, decent size, not huge, male. Timber rattlesnake. So cool. Wow, look at this thing. This thing is gorgeous. I don't know if... It's, it's yellow, just won't really come out on camera, but I love behind the head this pattern it's got. This thing is amazing. This guy's gone ahead and coiled up for me quite nicely. Oh, I wish this yellow were coming out on the camera, but this is a beautiful snake. Wow. Pretty awesome. I knew snakes would be moving tonight. <laughs> wow, look at that. All right, here goes this beautiful timber off into the wild. You ride this road all day and look at these woods and flip boards and tin, everything all day. And you just wonder where these guys hang out, you know? Like, look at this. You could be going anywhere in here. 
really don't know. It's crazy. All right, so we broke the ice since that coastal. That was an absolute pain in the ass day in the Pine Barrens. I guess I'm yet. I guess I'm complaining. I know it's not over. I'm just saying like we grinded all day and found one in shed coastal, which would have been really nice, but it was in shed. And then found a little worm snake, I guess is the first snake of the day. I had to, I don't know, we were just, you know, dodging tire problems with all those nails. Uh, one of our tires is a little low, so who knows if that's a slow leak. Filled it with air. It's been hot. Seed ticks are out. I ran a mile to see that. He ran a mile to he see the timber because I, vans. yeah, he, he got out to pee and, uh, I was like, okay, I'm going to cruise down the road, and I get down the road a little bit, and I, I see some cars, and I see a snake, and I was like, oh, well, Teddy's going to miss the snake, but he got to come and see it last minute. Um, but anyway, finally, we broke the ice since that snake, what, like, hours and hours ago, um, and hopefully we can keep the ball rolling and see some more snakes here. Wow. Gotta love it. Eight hours with those snakes. Yeah, for real. Let's see what we can do now. This little guy. Oh man, that's so cute. Should I catch one? Uh, I just got out and uh, pet one of those cute little raccoons on the head. I didn't get that on video, but... <laughs> All your campers are going to try to do that <laughs> No, don't do that. I wouldn't recommend it. I went to touch it on the head and it had such big eyes. It was so cute and little. I go to touch and it's like... <laughs> like it was terrifying. So uh, don't do that ever. Any, any words of advice? If we're your camp counselors, do not do that. Yeah, we have, uh, we have a population of uh, campers, I guess, that watch these videos, and uh, don't do that, please. <laughs> He's under here. We just cruised a mole. Wait, wait, wait. Don't Thanks, let him get away. You feel him? He went this way. He went this oh, wait, wait. I think I just felt him. Oh, my God. I feel him. Look at the... <laughs> He got so deep. Look at this guy. He's so like, can he bite me? I don't know. What kind of mole is this? <laughs> oh. Did he bite you? No, he didn't I'm bite me. Rabies after catching uh, a raccoon. Oh, is that a big tick on his back there? Ugh. Looks kind of like it. Try to help him out. Whoa. What kind of mole <laughs> or whatever? Look at this guy. Look at him go. What is this? Moving glizzy. <laughs> Hold on, get it from there. He didn't, but. Can't they bite? Look at that. Oh. So Whoa! <laughs> That's so cool. It's, so, it's got powerful front arms. Look at that. Oh. We're gonna start the next pandemic. <laughs> yeah, for real. Look at him he's trying to dig. Bro, he's going. Let's just <laughs> let's put him up over there. Come on, buddy. Come dig off the road. There you go. Alright, we're starting to get some rain here. And I think I'm gonna try to outrun the rain. It's probably patchy. If I can hit an area that's post rain or pre rain, might be able to cruise a coastal tonight. This wetness is kind of feeling pretty lampy. We'll see, but uh, this might be the end of the road here for our Pine Barrens weekend. Looks like this is gonna be the only snake on the roads tonight for me. Oh, he's trying to bite himself. He'll be dead momentarily. It almost looks like a ribbon. It's a garter, but it's kind of a 
prettier garter, isn't it? Damn. All right, well, uh, that dead garter snake was the last thing we saw. It's getting late, and uh, we've got a bit of a drive ahead of us, so uh, that's going to be the end of our excursion here. I hope that was enjoyable. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.